Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do an update on the high altitude balloon. We're going to test some payload heating and the tracking systems at the same time. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today we're going to uh, get pretty serious with the high altitude balloon. It's time for some tracking and payload heating tests simultaneous. So uh, in a previous video, uh, the most recent, I tested a single hand warmer in the payload heating. Uh, it didn't work out very well, which I kind of anticipated a little bit, but uh, taught me a lot. So what we're going to do today, we're going to combine, uh, gonna see if I can work some of the bugs out of the GPS tracking and we're going to go with one of these reusable sodium acetate hand warmers, one of the disposables. And uh, it's about zero degrees outside today. So we're going to place this outside and today's test will be to see what the payload temp does uh, to see if we overheat on the way up. Uh, if we overheat on the way up, well then I'm really going to have to change some, change some logic around here. But uh, we'll arm the data logger and uh, we'll see what we get. Um, what I did is I've put my mount for the spot trace unit which will go this way on the payload uh, hab module and we'll see how that works out. I'm having some difficulties with this. Uh, I think I got the difficulties worked out on the Android phone tracking. This phone is now set up with two applications. So uh, I'll, I'll show you those as we arm it. Um, one, we're using the KML logging internal to the phone. And the other one we're using for alerting. The, uh, the KML logging one can do text messages as well, but I'm finding it's failing and, and not sending texts after the phone times out. So I think I found a way around it. Uh, it's looking promising in my indoor tests. Uh, it's pretty windy outside today, so I'm going to hang this thing from the clothesline. That will should keep this spot trace unit triggering because it will be hanging in the wind. So uh, it's a big test kind of all at once, and uh, we'll see what we get in a few hours. And uh, hopefully this thing works out. Let's get it set up. So we'll go ahead and get our data logger set up and working. And hopefully, I haven't charged this battery since the last test, but uh, we should have plenty of juice. We'll set this up. We're uh, fired up there. I will verify it with the Bluetooth that it's functional from outside the hab module when I take it outside. Uh, no need to verify it here now. I'll just stick a rubber band around this because the latch isn't real good. So this will be pulling internal temp. We're going to set this inside and this one will be our outside and altitude. Let's go ahead and fire up the phone. I'm in the basement right now so we're not going to get a signal. But uh, you'll get the idea. We can turn off the Wi-Fi. We're not going to need that anymore. We need the GPS armed. So we go to the space track. We're tracker going app. to reset the track. Of course. We're going to click on it. We're going to click start logging. This is now logging to space tracker. So and then I will take and arm the FreeFly SMS app and uh, we'll put it in the box. So our phone is now logging internally and we'll send a text every 15 minutes. Uh, set that a little wide right now. Uh, during flight I think I'll have it every five. The spot trace unit, I will arm this when I go outside um, and stick it inside the payload module. We will get ourselves some heat on the go here. Even though these things say don't shake them on the, on the package, or not required, doesn't say don't, we'll give it a little shake to get it going. And uh, we'll take our Molten Magic here, and we'll see if we can activate it. And there we go, that's all there was to it. You can see that white expanding out, and that thing is getting hot, hot, hot right now. So we'll need that around a little bit and we'll set everything in the box, take this thing outside, and we'll pick it up after that. Well guys, I'm back in from the uh, temperature and tracking test outside. I let this run for a little over, uh, around three hours, uh, around our flight time to be expected. I was uh, 
pretty happy with some of the results. I have to say, the uh, payload heating using one of these Molten Magic and one of these disposables did a stellar job at, uh, at the ambient temp out there was zero to dropping off to maybe minus three. Um, I'll show you the chart here now. So you can see on that chart, we had uh, we had pretty good success of, of keeping the payload at a reasonable temperature at that ambient out there. So what I'm thinking is we're just about dialed in. I had no problem with overheat. So I think two of these, one of these, and I'll do one more test with all the payload heating and uh, all the electronics running. And I'm going to test it at basically, um, well, room temperature. And I'm going to see if I can get away with not overheating the cameras before they, uh, before we're essentially our, we're at altitude. Then we're going to call it a success. So, um, pretty happy. Um, one thing I'm not happy with is the, uh, the spot trace unit. This thing works beautifully on power up uh, breadcrumb trail constant updates via the satellite works like a champ until it goes to sleep almost impossible to get this thing to wake up and track again so uh, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do I have to talk to the manufacturer and see what the deal here is but the vibration sensor in this thing seems to either be ridiculously hard to trigger or something is wrong with the wake-up circuit. After I tested this, I took this with me. Uh, it hadn't woke up once since I began the testing. And uh, I took it with me uh, about a five block walk and uh, it, it didn't wake up until nearly almost back home and I got two satellite hits and neither one was anywhere close to where I was on the ground. Uh, reasonably close within a, a couple of blocks but not real happy with that the android phone flawless <clears throat> what it did it logged a kml file <clears throat> excuse me logged a kml file sent text messages no problem uh i set it to a 15 minute interval and it, it worked bang on it it woke up it did everything it should so really happy about that super stable the new battery is in it and uh, I have faith in this unit I, I see no reason that this will not work I just have to do one final test where I uh, deliberately kill the signal to it from the cell tower and GPS simultaneous and make sure both applications pick up where they left off basically I'll stick this thing in a Faraday cage probably the microwave works real good and uh, let it sit for uh, the duration of probably about an hour, hour and a half, max what we're going to see at altitude. And if it picks back up and starts sending texts again, we're going to call it a, a, a success. So, super happy. Um, yeah, no problems other than this little guy. So, going to work through that. And thanks for joining today. Thanks for, uh, thanks for following along. Go ahead and um, give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind, if, uh, if you find this kind of content interesting. And um, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for joining me in this, uh, in this venture. It really starts to feel like a space program now. A lot of thought and a lot of effort starting to go into this thing. Pretty impressed. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, thanks guys.